This is an overview video of AIT's Power BCM solution. This is a combined hardware and software uh, offering which provides information on the branch circuit use of power within data centers and is designed to show you how your power is being used not only at the at the cabinet level but also grouped by customers or, or groups of cabinets which are allocated to customers as well as the add-ups on the A and the B side fee to ensure that you're uh, staying within thresholds or within the limits of the, the different circuits that supply the cabinets within the data center. The home page which you're looking at the moment provides a view of the cabinets that are available. You can designate cabinets as not being used where they, where they they have no power monitoring required. There are also cabinet designations where they, the power is supplied but they're not actually being monitored at the moment because they wouldn't have any equipment in. They're ready to be provisioned. Along with cabinets as seen there shown in green where there is customers using those cabinets and there are power drawers for those cabinets. So there's equipment in them and there's a power draw against them. And the green status would indicate that they are the, the cabinet is in within acceptable thresholds. Also along the, the top and the bottom would be the distribution panels, the relative distribution panels, along with the total use per distribution panel. And then the total for the A side and the B side distribution panels is also shown along the top. By mousing over any of these, you are able to see, as you can see, the L1, L2, L3 at the at the panel level, the the power distributions there, along with the total, and at the bottom, the date and time of the, the reading that the last reading was taken of uh, on on those circuits, and by mousing over the the cabinets, you are able to see that you have information regarding the cabinet thresholds that have been set so that would be the power limits that that have been defined for that particular cabinet along with what who the cabinet is allocated to and the latest readings for that cabinet are shown along with the total the time of the reading to drill down it's very simple you simply select the chart and you go to the cabinet chart for that cabinet. This is defaulting to one month. I can look at it as different simply by selecting that and update. I'm able to look at it over different time periods and the time periods uh, I can also see the maximum and the average figures for that if you wish to and the A and the B side simply by clicking on those values I can clear away the, the values that I don't are not interested in and just say if I just want to look at the sum for the A side or the sum for the B side then it's very easy to, to visualize that information again over time. I can, you can also see up in the right here there are the latest reading figures as well for this particular cabinet and you can see the customer that the cabinet belongs to. You could also go to the customer view or the group view and you get the total for all of the cabinets which have been allocated to that customer or that group and again you have the same maximum and average values and again you can switch off the values that you're not interested in and you can just look at the the sum the the, the maximum or peak peak values for that particular customer again you can also have a look at charts which are grouped regarding the distribution boards so you're able to look at L1, L2, L3 which are your phase balancing and be able to understand the phase balancing for a given at the moment I'm looking at the distribution board which is B5 uh, again you can add uh, uh, another distribution board which will add additional lines to it so as you can compare the A5 and the, the A side and the B side and again I can tidy this up if I'm only interested in say the maximum or the average values then you can simply by selecting here you can remove lines from the uh, or if you feel that you have a problem just on one of the phases then you can remove the the that and just look at these different phase values at any point you have the ability to be able to save the plot image and export the plot image as a JPEG for use um, you know in external reports or for further analysis uh, elsewhere so we have an overview of the room we have charts which are available at the distribution board level at the cabinet level and the group of cabinets which here is called customers there is also an alarm function and <coughs> all of the uh, the 
loads the thresholds can be you can set alarms at that there's also a change of rate alarm which can warn you where there have been changes in load in particular cabinets at the moment this system is only showing sort of rate of change alarms we have had no threshold exceptions again by simply selecting that I can filter that and see that I have no threshold exceptions for this particular thing. Again reading errors are something that are often useful to track if there's been problems with the network in terms of obtaining the readings from the meters then we also keep a track of that and can supply those as, or send those out as alarms. Alarms allow you to set up um, uh, email address that they go to and the relative rate of change results that uh, percentages that you wish to use to develop those alarms. Customers allows you to set up the uh, define customer group and to define a total threshold for use across their groups of cabinets and then to allocate cabinets. In addition you're able to get a usage which is the kilowatt hour figure and so by selecting the usage for that particular customer then you will see a screenshot which shows you that you have the kilowatt hour figures for that. So again you can export this for reporting. The bars here show it on a daily basis and then you on the right hand side you have a monthly basis. So we could see here that this use has been for this customer has been fairly static and uh, started growing from the 5th of February this year. There was uh, uh, they, they had a roughly just under half the use since then they would have added equipment and then the usage has been static since then. Again you can go straight to the charts for that customer or you can export the power use. And that's AIT's Power BCM which is a solution comprising hardware and software for measuring branch circuits and for keeping a track of the power in your data center.